adding hotspots and links to a virtual tour. Once you've added all the 360 photos you'd like to use in your tour, you can start actually creating the tour. Click on the first image that you would like to use as the home image. Once this is loaded, you can spin the image to see what it looks like. You can see here the section where I blurred out the people. Click on Edit to add hotspots. Now in edit mode, you can add a tag and when you're finished, press done. Let's add a tag and then we've got a variety of different tags we can add, including adding with media, adding just text. When we click on the one we want to select, we can also change the icon. It's a good idea to use the same icon for each of the different formats that you want to add as tags. Here I'm just adding some text. You can then select and add another tag. In this case I'm going to add a tag with images as well. And here again I can add a title. If I want I can add a description. I can copy and paste a URL and I can upload media. This means that I don't have to have the media uploaded to ThingLink, I can get this from my computer. It's a good idea to save all your media in one folder so that you can access that easily. Once this is uploaded, click on the done button and then your hotspot will appear. If you want to create a tour, you'll need to click on the Create Tour button. This allows you to select a 360 photo. Again, make sure you've saved all your photos in the folder where your tour is. In this case, I'm in Group 1. I'm now going to click on the next photo and add a title. And click on Done. Now this has got the same icon as the others. So I'm going to go back in and change that so that my viewer knows that it is not information, it's actually a link to a different 360 photo. Now I can clearly see what's information and what is a link to another 360 photo. When I click on this, because I'm in edit mode, it doesn't allow me to do anything. I've got to click on done and then I can go back in and view what it will look like. If I want to add hotspots to that second photo, I need to close the first image and go directly into that second photo. Then I can click on the edit and add my hotspots. So again, I'm going to add a tag with some information and a link to another photo. Let's add the link first. So again, I'm going to choose my folder where my photos are saved and click on the next photo to link to. Add a tag, change the icon if I need to, and then press on done. I can also add a link to go back to the previous photo. That way my audience can easily navigate between the different images. Once I've done adding tags, I can click on the done. And then if I close this photo, I can go back into my home photo, which was the first one I had created. And now when I go to that photo using the hyperlink, I can see that those hotspots that I've just created are now in that image. So it's important to note that you need to go into the actual image where you want to add the hotspots in order to add them. You can't add them from that first image. Here I am with my next image and in this case I don't have any hotspots because I haven't gone in and edited them yet. 
good luck and have fun adding hotspots.